Real gospel with real harmony and real grooves. How do you like that one? That's the brand new single there from Jonathan Nelson called Strong Finish, and that's what God wants you to have. I'm Simone Malone, one of your most trusted and respected voices. And for those of you that check me out on YouTube and, of course, Facebook that watch the live video, I thank you so much. Believe it or not, David and Javon, we are in celebration. My guests are here, and I'm going to involve them today. You know, Simone's about the interaction. Um, we are celebrating our seventh radio anniversary. This December makes seven years that God gave me the vision along with Mr. Horsey, and here we've been in business as an African-American owned and operated station for seven years. You ought to clap for that one. <laughs> I have a live audience today, so I'm going to behave myself, y'all, because y'all know how I get when I'm around folks. I just like to have fun and make them feel involved. But listen, I want you to help us in this celebration. How you could do that is go to the homepage of the website at fmhdmsradio.net. Javon, I want you to go there and place a comment under testimonial. You'll have an opportunity to read the comments from people from all over the world. When I get off the radio, I want to take a moment and read your comment. Let me know your thoughts and your feelings. Share your thoughts and share your feelings about HDMS because I'm expecting the best for 2013 with a strong finish. And many of you know, how can I sit here and not share my testimony to Javon and, and David? at Point Dexter know that God touched and healed me from cancer and that's the greatest gift that I can have is my healing and some of you right now know that you're dealing with something spiritually and emotionally and the enemy has been on your back the enemy is attacking your body and we're sending the angels out to pray for our dear brother what is his name Elder Sam Shell we're praying for him today that God will cover him and devil get off of his back because he has a job to do for you and around this time of the holidays the enemy just begins to depress our people but I want to encourage somebody that the joy is is definitely in you and you need to smile through it because God is going to bring you through. Don't get me started because I feel his presence today. Before I get into the word of the Lord, I want to invite you. I want to invite you. I'm holding that ticket. We got a good shot of that. See that? It is so management and Promotions presents an afternoon of relevant praise and worship unplugged 2012. It's going to be at the Adrian Theater. Now, there is a slight correction on it. It's at 2030 Sansom Street. See it? 2030 Sansom Street right there. Bam. Mm -hmm. It's right there, 2030 Sampson Street, right here in Philadelphia. December the 23rd, two days before Christmas, I want you to get your tickets. $10 for the matinee, $20 for the main performance. I am going to serve as your master sermon. You don't want to miss it. You get an opportunity for those of you that are in Delaware, Eastern Maryland, even if you're in Virginia, to come on up, be a part of this great uh, celebration of It Is So Management and Promotions, presenting an afternoon of relevant praise and worship unplugged. And these are absolutely local artists from our city. Isn't that great? So I want you to get a chance. Javon, we're going to try to get him there for folks to meet him. Uh, Minister Andre Harris, an anointed move. Lady Pearling Belton. Uh, Jalil Sebron, who just hit me up on Facebook, and Spontaneous Worship. Rodney Talley of Philadelphia will be there, and many others. Come on out December 23rd. For more details, contact me. Contact Pamela Bernard right there on Facebook. It is so promotions and uh, management. I'm going to serve as your master of ceremonies. Get a chance to meet other radio personalities, other radio stations, and get a chance to meet me. Come on out and meet me, and i got something special for you. You're definitely going to know that. All right, let's get into the word of the Lord. I could not do this program, guys, without sharing something inspirational and encouraging. And, you know, today I want to talk about falling short. Now, when I share these inspirational moments with you, I'm not trying to beat up on anybody because this word is helping me. I am sharing these things, David and Javon, from my own personal experience because we all have fallen short. Am I right about it? When you get a chance, I want you to read Romans chapter 3, 19 through 28. Javon, you got to go there and read this. But I want to focus on Romans three twenty three that says, All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Now listen, if you just look back on your life this year, this year is almost over. If you just look back when January began and where you are now, something you have done in your life, thank your father, has not been pleasing to him. All have sinned and fall short 
of the glory of God. So if you exit off the wrong highway and you feel that things are not working out for you, do you know that all you have to do is say, Lord, please forgive me and get right back where you belong. Don't worry about what people say, Javon. Just move forward for your life because God has something planned great for you. If you sit around folks and let people beat on you and talk about you all the time, you will never grow into the person that you will admire. You have to focus on you. Stop beating yourself up if you made a mistake. You know you've done a bad, sinful act. You said some bad things out of your mouth. And you know, we as Christians, we say some bad things. We say some words that when people come to us, they come to us for help. But yet we say bit, we say words of bitterness and discouragement and we put them down. But God wants to pick you up today. The Bible talks about the sin in Romans 3.23 where Paul declared all have sin and fall short of the glory of God. No one is capable of bridging the gap between God and ourselves by our own efforts, but the Savior came to do just that on our behalf. That's why he died. That's why he's born. That's why you celebrate the resurrection. That's why you celebrate his birth as Christians, okay? Christ perfectively fulfilled God's standards, then he gave his life on the cross to pay for our failure and wrongdoing. Where we can fall short, Christ works offers us love and accomplish all that was needed. Our response is to trust him and receive this matchless gift of salvation. As we go into Christmas, as we go into 2013, if you don't get a gift from somebody materialistic, the greatest gift that you can have is the love of God. To have freedom and peace and mind of, of thankfulness. Don't worry about all those materialistic things. It's nice, but the greatest gift you can have is love. It's free. Share your love and warmth and you'll definitely feel a glow. Remember this, the cross of Christ bridges the gap. We would never cross on our own. Remember this. The cross of Christ bridges the gap. We could never cross on our own. There you have it. The inspiration of moment falling short. Let's touch it agree. Father God. I thank you for this word of falling short because God, brother Simone Malone has fallen short on some things, but God, I know you have picked me up and you've turned me around and you may be a stronger and better Simone Malone. God, I ask you to go through Facebook and YouTube right now and touch the minds of our people. God, touch their spirits where they're feeling like they're falling short. God, Lord, we know that we can be picked up. Lord, I ask you to go through these digital systems and throw out the lifeline of hope and encouragement. God. Somebody's depressed right now. Somebody is on their bed of affliction, God. Somebody wants to commit suicide, God. Somebody wants to give up on their relationship, God. Somebody wants to give up on their career. But oh God, I ask you, God, to pick them up and make them stronger right now. We fall down, as Donnie McClickman says, but we can get back up. And we thank you, God, that when we fall short, that you can help us to be stronger and better in our lives. And I ask you, God, to save somebody and fill them with your Holy Spirit right now because, God, we need you more and more each day. And, God, as we go through 2013 and begin to go into the new year, God, don't let us take that baggage that we dealt with in 2012 into 2013, God. Lord, help somebody to finish strong. In Jesus' name we pray. If you believe God, when we lift your hands right there and say amen. There you have it, the inspiration of moment falling short. If you're being blessed by this moment, inbox me right there. I want to hear your feedback. Subscribe to my channel called Trusted Voice in Radio. Trusted Voice in Radio. There you can go back and watch all of the inspiration of moments, and I'm sure that it will be a blessing to you. Remember, falling short. If you feel in your spirit, that you're falling short, get on your knees right now and begin to pray and say, Lord, forgive me and surround yourself with people that no God can pray you through and support you with love. There you have it, the inspirational moment falling short right here at FMHDMS Live, not a studio, 236.